Yeah, yeah, welcome back guys Yo, I have some crazy paranormal videos for you guys From King Frostman We're gonna react to these, alright? Let's just do this, man John states that he has been investigating the paranormal for the last 8 years after a near-death experience John visits various haunted houses and locations, trying to confirm or debunk the sightings that people have experienced. Today, we will be looking into his visit to the old San Antonio Cemetery. The cemetery is quite old, established in 1853, and is apparently home to over 3,800 graves. John states that from the moment he entered the cemetery, he felt a strange energy, as though someone was watching him, although he was definitely alone. Or was he? Of course, you're gonna feel energy and feel like people are watching you. And of course, you wasn't alone, man. It's dark. Who are you gonna see over there that you know? Walkers is there. Rick from The Walking Dead is probably back over there somewhere, you know, scouting around. You never know, man. <laughs> You shadow guy, I see you. As John is filming the dark graveyard, he captures this chilling footage. A dark figure can be seen to the left of the flashlight. However, as the light hits the entity, it suddenly disappears. Could it possibly be the trapped soul of one of the people buried at the old San Antonio cemetery? John. Yo, that that's crazy. Even if it's fake, you know what I'm saying, not real, uh, that was good editing job right there. But is it real or is it fake? It's, this is one of the most chilling captures, and I can only imagine what it was like to be there in person. Creepy. No, I'm good. I'm not going visiting graves until I go or, you know, I have to go. But I'm not going there just to go in at nighttime with a flashlight. In my house. Basements in general have something creepy to them. It's mostly dark, and the air down there is so par to say the least. Especially in older houses. User do not go in there started to document some really odd events recently. His son is seeing strange things in the house, which slowly start to take over the whole family. And the channel owner wants to let us in on what exactly took place so far. If you don't believe in ghosts, uh, you don't believe, believe in paranormal, I believe that's in absolutely it. fine. You but I believe in fake things. videos too. For, you. for those of you with open mind, I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me last night. So I'm playing a game of hide and seek before bed. I'm in the closet, finish counting, and I check his room, and he's not there. So you're going to check the office. This is a really odd story, isn't it? He talks with his son next about this incident, who confirms it. Look at his eyes. So it's hard to tell. He looks he scared. Down. Did you see something? He looks paranoid for real. Yeah. What did you see? A man. It wasn't you? No. Have you ever seen a ghost anywhere else in the house? Yo, he looks frightened. No. That was mommy. What was it? You hear something? <laughs> yeah. What? Look at him. Let me check that made that sound. Mommy didn't? No. Then what made that sound? Well, and as we are confused, the user uploaded a follow-up video, in which he sees something in the basement mirror. What I'm looking at, I don't see anything. I see a white spot. Do you guys see that face? A face where? That's, that's a face? Hold up. Move this out the way. Oops. User, John the Paranormal. Oops. I don't oh see. God. Do you see a face here? Like, I don't really. I can't tell. It's too blurred, man. Whatever he sees in that mirror seems to upset him quite a bit. I can't see nothing. Is this I'll keep you guys updated on that story. I don't see no face. What do you think, guys? 
Is it real or is it fake? Lightning ghosts. Now let's take a look at some footage from a paranormal investigator by Paranormal Me. Ali is a well-known ghost hunter who resides in Turkey and often visits the most haunted and famous locations around the country. In this particular investigation, Ali has chosen to go entirely alone. By the way, that, that's cool what he does for a living, right? He just goes, you know, on ghost hunting and stuff like that, entities. And Could you do that? You know, if he was paid enough? Or whatever, or would you just do it for a hobby? Leave your comment below on that. He's visiting an abandoned home high up in the mountain. Me, I'm sorry, <laughs> I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm better right here where I'm at. I'm not going nowhere alone with no ghosts. No. Nope. On this particular night, the weather is truly terrible. The rain is pounding down, and it seems as though a storm is approaching. Could this be an omen for the night to come? Once Ali enters the home, it really doesn't take long for some strange occurrences to begin. Rain in this pool and I don't see the old man snoring. What is that? Furniture? Strange that was knocking came right from inside one of the rooms. Oh, that freaked me out right there. It's a statue, right? That better be a statue. When Ali goes to investigate, it appears that some unknown force is moving the doors. Y'all did that on purpose. Acting like you're clean or something. It was fine to me. He just wanted me to jump. Should I move this? Go up here. Back to the oh boy, you did it yourself, boy. After spending some time in the home, Ali heads outside to brave the weather and investigate the surrounding area. Good luck with that. The weather seems to have gotten even worse during this time, and now a thunderstorm is raging through the area. What Ali catches next is extremely shocking. <laughs> you saw that right there. We see you. In you shadow guy. You shadow guy. You can't hide for long. We see you, man. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Of the lightning strike, a dark figure can be seen by the side of the building. The entity does appear to have a human form. However, it is entirely dark. When Ali approaches the side of the building, no person can be found. Man, he's there by himself. I just feel like he got to have a sidekick. He got to have somebody there, a sidekick. You know, he got to have somebody there helping him out with this, man. You know, that's where, you know, where the fake video comes from. But it looks legit right now, you know. But come on, you there by yourself? I don't know. Is it real? According to a weather expert, or is it apparitions fake? or spirits need some source of energy to manifest their presence into the physical plane in order to communicate with the living. It looked like he's taking so a... So do you believe he's over there recording the him? Creating like enough energy for the spirit to appear in front of Ali? Who that knows? shadow guy's like this, I see you too. <laughs> Call apparition. This clip was recorded by some friends in Japan who were having fun together in the local woods on a weekend. It was pretty late when the group decided to make their way back to their cars. And it seems that a blind passenger was joining the ride home. Did it say a blank passenger?
Okay, what's going on here? You know what's going on yet? No one seems to have noticed the spirit. Oh, I thought you belong there. It's all good. The spirit just need a ride, man. The spirit was trying to call Uber. No one came for her. Couldn't find her. So it hits a ride. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. Is that real? Or is it staged? It's the ghost lady part of the group all along when nobody realized that she was on board. That's a good one. That's a good one right here. That's creepy. Just walk in. The video was uploaded by The Fourth Wall, who upload paranormal content from Japan, and who I like to feature. Fourth Wall states that this footage was sent to them by a user who would like to remain anonymous. According to them, they had seen a ghostly figure in the same spot multiple times on their way home from work at night. So they decide that they will film the spot and see what they catch. With the camera on show, oh, wait, what? Sometimes it goes, okay, I did that word so fast. Ooh, I see. That's a light. That's a light shadow. I mean, what is that, man? A smur on the camera? Nah, that's something there. That is a bright. What? It's like, that's the head. Like, that's the head, you know, and that's the body right here. Like, it's hiding and peeking or something. That's creepy. Terrible at hide and seek, though. Ah. The individual who captured the footage said that it in moved. person, the ghostly figure was much more clear in real life. With even some distinguishing features of a person. However, once the camera was on the ghost, it seemed only a faint mm. white shadow could be seen. It is mm. as though only the spirit's energy was captured on film. I don't know about this one. Do you think the white shadow, rather than black, might be an indicator that this is it a friendly looks spirit? In a sense, but I don't Notice know. the way the shadow seems to move and it, sway yeah, it slightly. Didn't move, though. Weird. But is it real? Or is it fake? Don't know. That's a good one, though. Just dancing. The girl in the following video was said to be practicing for her dance lessons, which she recorded regularly after moving to their new home. Why is it? Why is it so bright? Who's taking these footage, man? That looks awful. They always felt like they were being watched. This was the first time that she actually captured something strange on camera. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I saw that black, like, shadow half guy walk across the floor, across the um the room. But, you know, the direction it went is towards the door this way. I'm like, okay, but she's still running towards it. Even though she's going that way to the door, it looks like. Or wherever she went. That was crazy. I, I stop with that footage like that. Some are sure that we can see a translucent <laughs> shadow figure That's crazy. here. I don't Could know that about be this so? One, Perhaps the new home is haunted after all. I don't know. What do you think about that one? Nightly visitor. The next clip comes to us from the user Fluvis. The footage was taken in 2015 and was pulled from a security camera in an office building. Unfortunately, not much information regarding the context of the sighting is available. However, we do know that this was filmed at 2 a.m. and that nobody was in the building at the time of the recording. Mm. Let's take a look. Let's do it. This is a July 4th, 2015. Shadow guy on the floor. 
Shadow guy creeping. Oh, it, it, it rose up. In the video, we can see what looks to be a storage room with some miscellaneous office furniture and a small garage door. Nothing seems amiss at the beginning, but quickly we notice something strange appears near the center of the room. A weird black figure seems to slither on the floor for a while, and at first glance exactly. it might Slowly. seem like something as innocent as a small animal. Yeah. Things take a turn for... It looked like it was crawling out, like on its floors, right? And then it just, it just rose up. Look, like that's the leg half up, you know, and that's the other leg right there, and that's the... Head and is this about to rise up? Or normal, when the but black shadow starts twisting and contorting that, itself into a strange shape, that's legit, it seems man. to grow and shrink at will. That's Viewers legit. have warned that this very odd shadow creature could possibly be demonic, especially given the inhumane form. After only a few seconds, the entity disappears yeah, into man. thin air. Could this be a demonic sighting that was caught on film? Ooh, I'm glad I don't live there. Whew, if I see that, wow little thing this video was sent by maria and she told me that it was recorded by a couple of friends from rio bueno chile they were recording an abandoned old house in the neighborhood unfortunately none of them had a good camera so we have to accept uh -oh. that the video was recorded by uh -oh. a potato once they make it on the second floor there's a really mysterious image. thing walking by at the end of the hallway let's go let's get this Let's go ghost hunting. Keep freezing. Now what are we doing? No, that creeped me out, man. That made my skin crawl up. Oh, wow. 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 We see you, shadow guy. Shadow guy. That's the that's the kitchen probably trying to just get some, make some breakfast or something. A tiny creature appears in the doorway. That's not tiny. That looks... Some say like it could a be a huge halfling. creature. Others man. say it's the lower part of a manifestation. What do you think? I think it's not a tiny creature. It's a big creature, man. Shadow guy. Call it Shadow guy. That's creepy. But is it real? Or is it fake? Shadow in my. The following video was sent to me by uploader Xavier6909 and it features a terrifying shadow apparition that he could capture on video one day. Xavier is the owner of a house in which he does not live but strictly uses it for storage. Once in a while they also use it for band practice. He says that many creepy things have been happening in there, that people see and hear things that do lack any kind of explanation. Apparently, those things even happened during band practice. They had to stop several times in the past when hearing weird noises and members of Xavier's group saw... Yo, that must suck, man. You over there rehearsing, you know, with your instruments and you hearing different things going on, you know, like different beats that's not your instrument, instruments. Like, that'll bug me the heck out, you know what I'm saying? Piss me off. Somebody walking behind <laughs> him when nobody else but them was there at the time. Look at that One mask. Day. I mean, that's why it's creeping out. Look at the mask right there, man. That's what's going on over there. You got this mask. You got to throw that mask out. Started recording to document some water damage that had been taking hold of two of the rooms in there. And while he was walking through the rooms, something was coming through the basement door and looking down the hallway at him. Volume is a little low on Dan. Sorry about that. That's, that's one spot. And then another spot. 
I don't even know what just happened. That that noise has freaked me out. You may have missed it right now, but before we take another look, let's... Thought I heard something in the kitchen behind me, but at the point that I hear anything the entire time I was there, which was about 10 minutes. Get a peek at the basement door just moments after this incident. Check out the basement door in the back. Nothing is obstructing it, nor is there any items placed, right? So the view should be clear, just like the way we see it here. However, when Xavier pans the camera for the first time, there is a black object coming out of that door. Coincidentally, he thought he might have heard some strange noises at the time, stemming from the kitchen. Okay, getting crazy now. Yo, that was the scream, the scream guy. We see you. Wow, look at that, man. Look like he's wearing his hat to the back, right? It's the face right there. Yeah, we see you, shadow guy. Something is clearly peeking out of that door, but what is it? Wow. Xavier also mentions that this thing seems to be morphing, and I agree. Maybe that's even more proof that he's dealing with a paranormal entity here. He's asking for your help and hopes to find some ideas in the comments. Is so, that if you have some real? suggestions, oh, please share. Fake? That's legit. I definitely think that's there's more crazy. going on with this house. You're disturbing the shadow guy. That's why he came up peeping, seeing who you are, man. Y'all making too much noise. Wow. Nope. Never going back in that house again if I've seen something like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Whew. Old house. Now we're following along Dark Ghost Paranormal to one of his latest creepy adventures. Tonight he traveled to an abandoned two-story building was recommended by another of his subscribers. It's empty for quite some time already, but the viewer stated that tons of paranormal activity had been documented in there. Dark was really keen on finding out if any of these claims were true, and as per usual, he was setting up his equipment after arriving. After a few hours in, some strange activity started to happen. Yo, that place look creepy. I am not going in there, man. What's up with you guys going there by yourselves? Come on, man. Y'all creepy. A cupboard is slamming forcefully. Oh. While Dark is exploring one of the other rooms, Camera 2 is capturing the following. Brave boy, brave. A strange shadow is appearing. Is it possibly following Dark what? to the room here? flashlight over there at the room still. Yo. Even if this is like, yo, they did a good job if this is fake, you know. Um, but that's that looks legit right now. For right now it looks legit. Shadow Camera guy. one in the kitchen. On the floor. Captures it another time. 
while Derek is exploring the second story of the house. Shadow creature. The shadow creatures, he wants something to eat. It wants something to eat. Nah, that looks crazy. Yo, did you just trip over something, man? All of a sudden, his camera is being pushed towards him, and oh. something drains the power of his flashlight. See ya. Leave, boy. Leave now. What is wrong with you? Oh, no. See? That's one of my fears, man. Pitch darkness. Dark your, tries your flashlight to goes out. Downstairs. The only thing he could think of was using one of his stationary CCTV cameras to see what's going on. You can use your phone, too. But nah, man. That's, this, this, this guy's crazy, man. <gasps> nah. After this, Dark decided to leave this place, and he wants to know Finally. if you guys would like him to return to his house. You know what? If you can, check out the whole investigation on his channel. Yo, just get out of there, man. I don't know about that, man. Is it real or is it fake? Showers. A man was recording his girlfriend while she was taking a shower. What oh, you freaky deaky. Why are you recording a girl taking a shower, man? Captured afterwards, started him to the core. That have been looks like a female in the shower. That looks crazy. Nah, that that gotta be fake, man. Cause it's like his girl already left the room. Why are you turn around the camera looking over there? Did you see something? You know what I'm saying with the shower. Come on, man. That was a good jump scare on me, though. Do you think it was just a friend that stuck into the bathroom when we didn't see it? Nah, she was always there. Some freaky dinky thing he was doing. <laughs> she got her clothes on though. That's some of those weird stuff. Haunted apartment. Next is one of the most terrifying cases that had been documented in the past few years. These are the recordings of Veronica Shannon, a single mother that was living in a pretty haunted apartment. She described this incident as pretty strange and thought at first that somebody was playing a prank on her, which is why she decided to get video cameras in her apartment. She ended up seeing some very strange things in the recorded footage. A skeptic at first, Veronica moved a few months after seeing all these strange things at her place. This looks like it's moving though, this camera, like it's shaking like someone holding it. One night, a friend was just about to walk into her apartment, when nobody was in the living room at the time. However, something was captured. Oh snap, I thought that was a person. Yo, that's crazy. People asked her if that could have possibly been the spirit of a former owner, perhaps. Of course, Veronica had no idea. She didn't believe this to be the spirit of a deceased relative, though. Uh. Wait, what the heck? Now it looked like an old lady woman right there. The, you know, before it looked like a, a younger one. They tag team them. That's two people in there. Two, two shadow. This guys. certainly does look like the spirit of an elderly lady, yes. wouldn't you say? Yes. Unfortunately, things got a bit more scary shortly after. 
when the door to the kid's bedroom seemed to lock up on its own. Why is the camera moving into the wall? I don't understand. Is this a set of camera? But why is it moving over there for? Like the actions on the on that side. <coughs> oh, unless the spirit moved it. Shadow guy moved the camera. I'm not even moving it. This door stopped. Get out of here. It took three grown adults to break that door down that night. I mean, what? who can blame the young woman to wanting to leave this place? So these angles. Wait, wait, wait. Move me out the way. What's going on? Sounds like a hiss. And then get out. And okay. Oh, let's see. Shortly after this recording, Veronica finally found herself a new home for her family. Good. I don't know. Old school! This kid Old was school. filming Old at the house of Go. his parents on the second floor, where nobody else was home. And it appears that something dark got captured on tape. Shadow creatures, boy. They don't care who they around. Respect them, man. Those people was there first, most likely. <laughs> well, they still live there. And maybe this life. place has some troubled past. Or, or it also could be a relative. Lost. What do you think? It could be both. Yes, I believe in that. That was a good one. Our living room. This was sent by Julia, and she tells me that a security camera in a family home has caught something really inexplicable. They have only moved in recently, but ever since, they wake up to some really strange noises in the middle of the night. Even the motion sensor alarm gets toggled on ever so often without anybody being on the ground floor. The family has mounted several security cameras around the house for safety and to maybe capture the cause of all of this. One evening, the camera in the living room has caught something really bone chilling. What? Something's walking up your steps, buddy. And he don't see it. That looks like a Shadow guy. Apparently the man was alone that night and nobody else should have been on this recording but him. Yeah, that, that looks legit right So there. how do we explain the semi-transparent figure walking up the stairs? Is it a Wait, 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 wait. I mean Yeah, it could still be legit. Cause I was just thinking why the camera's pointing there, but not necessarily they could have um close up that's a close up so um yeah it's from the Number past one. that's a good one what you what you guys think was it real or is it fake our living room ring video was recorded by user arvin.de from germany he himself is very interested in the paranormal and, once in a while, likes to tamper with a Ouija board. Some of you might agree S that this is the not Ouija the smartest board, idea. And he has some interesting clips of weird things something, happening. Though. Something bad always gonna happen when you mess around with Ouija boards. I don't mess with those, man. His sessions. However, we are really interested in one of his trips he has taken recently. 
eventually to the hometown of Anneliese Michel, whose story about okay. her exorcism is quite famous. They were hoping to find something interesting in the ruins of her old house. Unfortunately, it was torn down already. However, a family shed, which was built close by, still remains up until this day, and Arvin was checking it out, and he might have captured something that he didn't expect. I can't read that. I know it's something apartment, family. A face seems to be peeking out from behind one of the roof beams. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at you. Shadow guys peeping. We see you. Armin said that nobody was up there at the time. Oh, that looks like the grudge or the anything. alien. Many commenters, though, made him aware of this capture. That's an alien eye. Think, is look this a being from another eye. dimension or can it easily be explained? Look at the big eyes. That's an alien shadow. That's crazy looking. That's legit. Creepy. Hospital. The photo was taken in an unused hallway Ooh. of a children's hospital. The Ooh. uploader states this picture was taken by. See, hospitals and cemeteries are the number one hangout for like dead spirits and stuff like that you know the entities and paranormal that's the number one spot so you know i think well, this is real. Sister, we she see asked it. me to put it out <laughs> there to show people the full story is that her and one of her colleagues were walking past the unused hallways when they heard a clattering sound she shot the picture specifically because of the paranormal stories that flowed around the place they didn't notice the apparition when they took the photo or i'm sure they would have checked to see if there was actually a kid She's an honest person and I personally believe her story. I just wanted to get the picture out there for people to see. So she looked like she's just looking like what I'm still doing here. Well, it looked like she's just warped into this place, you know, from a different dimension. And she's spying on herself, probably. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Short answer, it's possible that it was just a kid acting up, but it's really strange that nobody saw that girl at the time. From what I understand, the corridor is mostly unused, but they store equipment and things in it. I have been assured that patients aren't kept in these rooms. Man, I wish it was footage, actual video of this. A picture, you could just take a picture of someone in the hospital and then freak them out like us and think it's real. You know, that's the only thing I got against this, you know, because we're seeing a picture with a circle around it. That's in a story, a good story. Well, come on, man. But other than that, I can't say for sure. Me neither. What do you guys think? <laughs> How you took the they words capture right an actual mama. ghost girl? Creepy hospital. Another video found in the paranormal ghost section. Becca has posted it and wasn't quite sure what she had seen that night. That's a she cat. states, Did I capture a, a black shadow in my house? Didn't see anything weird in any other part of the video. It was taken in the late evening. Oh, sorry about that. Creepy hospital. I don't know why I said creepy hospital. This is the house. Around 9 p.m. I'm pretty sure nobody else was there. It's just me, my aunt, and uncle who live here, and they were both out that night. I remember because they went over to my cousin's place, but I didn't want to go because I wanted to stay and play with my new puppy. I didn't check the Aww, house at the time because so I didn't adorable. notice the figure until I was showing a friend the video of my dog today. That dog I took the video about three weeks crazy ago. Looking I don't dog. know if it's paranormal, but it freaks <laughs> me out. We've never had any other weird experiences in this house. How does this look? Look at this. Uh, what kind of dog is that, y'all? Yeah. I don't know too much about dog names. Different breeds. Oh, I saw you. Sick him. Sick. Sick the shadow god, doggy. Wow. That's the kitchen again, it looks like. Yo, these shadow guys, they be hungry, man. They just want to just eat, you know? I think that's what it is, sneaking around the kitchen. What exactly is going on here in the background, guys? They're clearly seeing a figure walking by. <laughs> 
and it appears to be some kind of black cloth. Was it a shadow person or just somebody of her family? Shadow guy. People on Reddit are not sure. What do you guys think? There are many think? theories about is what was real? captured that night. Or is it fake? Oh, good puppy. The dog good in a sense boy. nothing good though. Good toy. Dogs are sense it. <gasps> Werewolf! Mm. Wait, what? Nexus 4 the dog made the following video. He stated that he has found it on the internet and that the source unfortunately is unknown. Apparently it was captured by a villager who might have caught the infamous dog man one night. He saw that thing walking around outside after he heard really strange noises in front of his house. Why is it so bad quality? Jeez. It, that's someone holding the camera too, right? Yo, I mean, yo, that looks crazy though. That looked like a mask, look, some type of mask. I, I can't even understand what I'm looking at, but yeah, that definitely looked like a mask and that could be a person ahead actually holding the mask. You know, it's just bad quality, you can't really tell. What do you guys think? Look at that thing. Isn't it simply Ooh, terrifying? Oh, turn and yeah, turn, though. That looks freaky. Crazy. Ooh, it jet it. Who knows what exactly went down that night? It looked like a goblin thingy. Will it be the dog man? Is it a different creature? Or did somebody just prank him with a mask or something? That's what I thought at first. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Is that the ears? That's like a... Look, and that's the eye right there. The mouth, my, it just looks crazy. I look like the nose right there. It's all crazy. That could be anything you want it to be. It's just not human. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it real? Or is it fake? Strange crawler. This was also found in the paranormal section of Reddit. It reads as follows. Someone caught this on a home security camera in my country, which is Costa Rica. People believe it to be a creature which is living in the rural area. There's several legends that speak of this crab-like thing. It's a dog. Oh no, the dog. Yo! <laughs> Oh, heck no. Heck no, what is that? <laughs> Even if that was a guy going like that, playing around, that look crazy. No, that's a creature. Some brave dogs. It's a spider type human creature thingy. Yo, that's, that's legit. That's crazy. I wish we could see it clearer. But look how it's walking like. What do you believe? Is this just a random <sighs> person? Prank? It could still be a person and you know those people that know how to flex their bones and all that. They just, it's a certain way you position yourself. It's, it's, it could be a the person. The villagers. Or is there something more behind this side? This is done very well though. It's fake, it's fake, but they did a great job. The dogs is over there barking at it. I mean, the dogs didn't attack it. door. The following was found in the paranormal reddit section, uploaded by Hen Brolo. The user tells us, this stems from my friend's home and they have a security camera in their living room. No one was home at that time. They o What is this? That's the play button? On a wall? Well, I'm just bugging out. I'm just bugging out. Felt that something was in there even before he moved in. Something that tampered with the furniture, especially at night. Let's take a look at the oh, door. Oh, that's his playboy. <laughs> I knew I was about to Woo! The door closed. I, no, I don't see no strings. Something is seemingly touching the door on the, on bottom, the bottom and slowly closing it. Yep, but how is I that possible? Especially since nobody was home. Somebody was home, that's a hand. Some commenters think that it looks like a super thin arm is closing the door. Obviously. Could that be so? Yes. Does this mean that something otherworldly was responsible for this? I, I mean, don't believe it. It does not this look one. like a human arm, does it? 
I don't believe this one. That's an arm, man. It's Buck. Now, we want to look at the updated Shadow case Buck. of El Franco, who thinks that an evil entity is inheriting his old apartment. He decided to place a night camera in his room because he doesn't feel safe there anymore. A bite mark on his arm is proof for his con- It don't feel safe any anymore. You got a bite mark on your shoulder, right? In the back. Yo, just leave, dude. Leave, like yesterday. And yes, shortly wow. after setting everything up, it became witness That's to some unusual good. activity that unfolded during Look at his the dog. sleep. The dog looks scared. The dog is like, yo, why you don't just move, man? Why I'm here trying to protect you from something I can't barely see, man? Leave. The shadow guy coming. Looks like a ton of orbs and an inexplicable object right in front of the lens. Oh, all that gloom and stuff is the. Oh, yeah. What is going on? Even when not asleep, stuff just starts happening in his room. <laughs> that dog is freaking out, man. The dog, like, yo, we need to leave. Wait, who threw that? Who threw that? This night, the door just opened to his room. Although he was oh, the only God. person home, and all three of his cats were with him. So oh, what could have caused cats, that? Too. Man, it was a damn Heathcliff. Heathcliff did that. Heathcliff and the, his, 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 his boys. They all pranked y'all. At least he was suspicious at that point. <laughs> they looked like better. suspects. All three of them looked like suspects. That's four dog. I mean, four cats and a dog. Something was tampering with the tower of his cats. Yo, this is legit, man. And the following night, the entity opened the door again. Okay. Maybe just to say hi. Okay. Very unsettling. That's close. Another time, he was just playing with one of his cats, and there appears to be something peeking around the corner. That some say is terrifying. I want you, hey, hey! Yo, on the bottom, you saw that, right? I showed up. It was a shadow on the bottom of the some door. Viewers. Yeah, right there. We see you, shadow guy. You creeping on the floor. They just the head of a female. Could it be? A female? But how? How can you see that as a female? I just see a, a shadow, man. Like. It don't look like anything. It's just a shadow. If anything, is a is a one of those is a dead cat that was there or something like that. That's why it's there. I don't know. And where did it go? You can't just say it's a female. Convinced that it is in fact the spirit of a female, he tries a ritual in the bathroom to get rid of her. Yo, a female shadow guy is biting you. Oh. What do we make out of that? Did the spirit answer, or is some foul play involved here? Yo, what's Almost going a little on? bit too creepy, to be honest. <sighs> he catches her staring, Ooh. now almost on a daily basis. Wait, it was up top too? I saw the bottom, this time it was on the top. But why he didn't look up top? See, that's the bottom one, but we saw the shadow on the top right before this. I didn't see that before. Yeah. Yo, look at the cat! Wouldn't you Yo, be terrified at this point? Look at that. Look at... Look, what is that? That's a, that look like a female to y'all? Come on. If anything, it looks like a, a ape. Or a creature thingy. And... Is it a demon or a shadow figure? Yes, one of those. Or maybe both. Yeah, but not no If it isn't a hoax, female. of course. <laughs> and sometimes it's just the Yo. cats that give him a good spook. What? Thank God, right? Yo, that, that wasn't a cat that time, though. That was something black. But this must have been one of the most terrifying captures that his night camera could capture. So what you think? 
Is it real? Or is it fake? <gasps> nope. I can't stand this, man. Another one? Why is it with these supernatural videos and stuff is always some chick with long black hair is never bald, never curly hair, never dreadlocks, never anything else besides what you see there as the ring. See, this is where it gets played out to me of being legit. You know, we using the same character all the time. That looks creepy though. <laughs> what do you think? Look at the eye that is definitely looking at him. And it is pretty safe to say that this must be a demon. If it isn't just the friend in a mask, were you creeped out? Let me know. Yes, I was creeped out. Yo, dude should move before this video. What we see right here, he should have been left. That's, that's crazy. She's trying to get more bites on him, man. <laughs> Yo, those videos were insane.